So let's look at a couple more example problems where we can use our area formula for the area of a triangle to find a missing side length or maybe just the height of the triangle. So for this problem, the triangle shown below has an area of 25 square units. And we need to figure out what this missing height is of our triangle. So remember the area formula, that the area is 1 half multiplied by the base of the triangle multiplied by the height of the triangle. And for this one, we can call this long side here, we can call this the base. And remember the base and the height are perpendicular to each other. They have to have a right angle between them. And so this length here, x, we can call this the height of our triangle. And with this information, we can plug everything into this formula and then solve for x. So the area, we know that's 25. And we have 1 half multiplied by the base, which is 10, multiplied by the height, which is x. And we know half of 10, that's just 5. So we get 25 is equal to 5x. And to solve this, we just divide everything by 5 to cancel out that multiplication. So that x is 5, and this would be 5 units since we're just talking about a length rather than how much space something's taking up. If it's taking up space, we have square units, but if it's just a length, it's just unit or unit to the first power. So our height is 5 units. We can check this, remember, by just plugging everything back into our area formula, and we should get back 25. So the area is 1 half multiplied by the base, which is 10, multiplied by the height, which is 5. And we know half of 10, that's 5. So we get 5 times 5, which is 25. So this does make sense in regards to our area formula. And let's just do one final example problem. So this one's fairly similar, but... Essentially, the base and the height are switched. Now, notice we are looking for the base of the triangle, and we know what the height is. Let's just write down our formula again, that the area is 1 half the base. I'll just use B for base and H for height. So we can label everything. And remember, the base and the height just need to have a right angle between them, so we use X and 10 for our area formula. And we can call this the height of the triangle, so x, we can call that the base of the triangle. And again, we're using b for base and h for height. And for this one, we're told the area is 75 square units. So area is equal to 75 units squared. And let's just plug everything in. So we have that the area, which is 75, is equal to 1 half the base, which is x, our missing side length, multiplied by 10. So we can take 1 half and multiply it by 10, that's just 5. So we get that 75 is equal to 5 times x. And to solve this, let's divide everything by 5 to cancel out that multiplication. And 5 goes into 75 15 times. And 5 divided by 5 is just 1. So you get 1x or just x here. And let's just quickly check that x is indeed 15 units here. And to check it, we'll just plug everything back into our area formula. So we have the area is 1 half the base, which we just found out is 15, multiplied by the height, which is 10. And 15 times 10, that's 150. So we need a half of 150. And if you cut 150 into two, each piece would be 75 long. So our area, remember area is in square units.